that you're so worth it, you'll be home Only timber, I know You said you were better than us Counting down the days, putting papers up We were so close But you left me alone Oh, six, well, they even started so much in common Too much for you to just die Oh, six, will they even start it? So much in common Too much for you to just die and welcome to my channel as always i am delighted to have you tune in today i must of course also say happy holidays how's everyone doing let me know on the comment section how you're doing and uh, if you are watching the channel for the first time or you've been sort of browsing around please kindly consider subscribing for all things relatable easy and affordable homemaking content Alrighty, now in today's video and this week's cleaning edition vlogmas episode 2 I'm going to be sharing with you cleaning tips and hacks for the bathroom especially if you are interested in keeping your bathroom smelling fresh every single time I hope that you're going to enjoy this video let me know on the comment section what cleaning tips and hacks I should be doing next enjoy Right, first things first, make sure that you don't keep any wet towels in your bathroom. Especially if you've got a small bathroom, you have to keep those out and also keep the windows open for some fresh air. I also prefer to clean my mirror every single time I take a shower or use the basin. And this way, my mirror keeps fresh and clean always. Moving on, you guys will remember that last week I shared with you that this are going to be your fire sign as far as cleaning your home is concerned. And that has not changed, but today I would just also like to share with you some of my favorite products to use in my home to make sure that um, the place looks and stays clean and fresh all day, all week long. You guys have really been enjoying using MAC products uh, mainly because they are quite affordable and still very effective. I mean, you get this for a fraction of the cost on what you would probably get some other big brands. So totally, totally enjoying using um, MAC products that along with um, Hopic right always use a disinfectant product it can also even be bleach because you not only just want to clean the toilet you also want to disinfect the place you also want to take your brush holder and throw in the bit of liquid that remains from the brush and i think most people don't do that because also that sort of adds to the stink in the bathroom so when you do the cleaning and I'm sorry if this is disgusting. When you do the cleaning, your brush holder is also clean. And uh, we're going to get into some details. Um, normally what I do is that after the first round of cleaning, I go in with the second dose of bleach or toilet cleaner and just leave it on for quite some time, maybe five minutes and then go back to brush again. But I mean, I won't be doing that now. Right. It's also very important to disinfect your brush because think about it a lot of people especially if you share the bathroom with other people you will be touching this brush quite often and it's always always after using your bathroom and but before washing your hands so it's important to disinfect also helps to um put a bit of toilet cleaner or even bleach i normally put both and just leave it in there don't wash it don't rinse don't do anything it helps with disinfecting but also because those products also have got like very good scents it will also help um, making the brush in the bathroom smell good 
that is just also what i do and i recommend that everybody does the same thing after using the bathroom I just also recommend um, using a disinfectant product for cleaning the toilet, more especially if it also has a very good scent. And now for our bathtub and our basin, we're going to do like we did last week with our kitchen sink and use the big of soda and some vinegar to unclog the drains. This week's all the time so i'm just gonna go ahead and put some uh, bicarbonate of soda and then that will be followed by some vinegar and i'm gonna use hot water on uh, the drains just a bit of advice on my side uh, i recommend that you keep the bicarbonate of soda and the vinegar you use for cleaning purposes separately from the ones you use for cooking because you know sometimes mistakes happen one time you are cleaning the toilet and uh, you maybe touch the brush and then you touch the soda you don't want that to be the same product you're going to be using for cooking so try if you can keep um, them separately from uh, the cleaning to the cooking right now i just added some cleaning cream slash handy andy and some bleach for a good squeaky clean uh, look now how do you keep your bathroom smelling good first things first i love to do this trick and it works for me i don't know if it's because i've got a small bathroom but i like to buy a good smelling bar of soap and just open it up and put it on the soap holder leave it there i don't use it for washing i don't use it for anything and what happens is that whenever i use the shower with the steam going off it makes the entire room smell so good so this is something that i will use and it works perfectly for me and like i said i just don't know if it's because i've got a small bathroom then next you're gonna need cotton balls along with some essential oils any essential oils of your liking should do the trick So you go ahead and add a good drops of uh, the essential oils of your liking. I got this one from Mr. Price Home. You do as much as you want. I like to give it a good uh, helping. And then you're going to go ahead and take your bean, the bean that you use in your bathroom. And I use this specific one. You're going to put in the cotton balls right over there. Next up. 
use a scented bin liners for your bathroom bin at the very least you will not regret this i am using this brand which i got from checkers i don't remember how much it was but it was not too bad anyway you leave your cotton balls below and then you go ahead and line your bin with the cotton balls below below and this will help keep the bathroom smelling good the entire week the entire week i love 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 this idea next up you take your toilet paper roll and uh, take your essential oil and add a few drops onto the roller the actual roller and not the paper And I'm telling you guys, this will keep your bathroom smelling so good. So, so, so good. I feel sometimes that this is so much better than those chip diffusers that we get. Absolutely, absolutely love this idea. And before I forgot, I got this essential oil from Mr. Price Home for just $79.99. You can also get them at a Clicks, Discam, and so on and so forth. And of course, you must have some air freshener. You'll realize that I like keeping a consistent scent at a period. Just so there is not a bit of confusion and I'm not busy sneezing up because then there's a whole lot of uh, scents in the space. And what I mean by that is that I'll try and have a lavender uh, air freshener, lavender uh, toilet cleaner, or a lavender this and that, just so I have consistency. And that's just because I suffer from sinus, so I cannot have a confused or mesh, mesh of scents all over the place. And with those easy tips, that's how you keep a bathroom looking and smelling fresh throughout the week. It, there are certain things that you will need to consistently do every day. For example, like brushing your toilets. But other than that, those tips will set you up for the whole week up until your next time you clean over the weekend. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and the tips.